Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, returning to Assassin's Creed Valhalla as filler for in between my um, GTA 5 videos. Now, unfortunately, Assassin's Creed is a very slow, dense game to play. That's why I was a little hesitant to keep playing it. I mean, yeah, I love exploring and I love going around and finding things, but I've almost gotten a little too clever for the exploration factor, and it's almost too difficult to a point where, yeah, I'm actually having to go online in order to find out how I can discover things. And well, this one is called the Sunken Tour, Tour, and it took me almost forever to find the main treasure and everything else around the location. In fact, I'm probably not even going to show the whole thing because it would be too long of a video. But let's get on with the the Sunken Tour. Now I enter this place and try and search for the treasure. Since it's in water, I'm guessing, yeah, I'm going to have to dive in and swim around and find the treasure. Like I said, they make it real difficult and I'm wandering around looking for stuff. Birds are flying out, nearly hitting me. But there is some iron ore and stuff I can collect. Yeah, I'm going to kind of fast forward through some of this because I spent a lot of time looking around and trying to find the treasure. I figure I'm going to start by climbing the outside of the tower and figure out what else is at the top because the tower is obviously hollow, but there's probably stuff at the top that I should be looking for. And one of the things I miss immediately, and I have to use my raven to help out, but I see these statues and some other stuff. And I decide I'm going to explore and loot this area.
Now, the treasure, I'm guessing I'm going to have to swim for it. And I'm exploring, going to explore around. I'm going to fast forward until I get to the point where, yeah, I'm going to dive down and go look for the treasure. I do a deep dive to begin with. I, yeah, I'm coming down here, and you got to swim all the way down. I'm surprised Ivor has such good lung capacity. This is quite a deep dive. Hmm. Interesting. And now I find the passage here. Can't squeeze through. Yeah, I didn't realize I could hit it with my axe, which is what I end up doing. I'm going to, again, fast forward through until I actually get to where Ivor hits it with the axe and gets the treasure. A carbon ingot and some silver. Yeah, kind of chintzy. But I digress. Now I'm going to try and find the basically other thing, which is in the Be Sunken Tour. And I end up using my raven to help out in this case. Sorry, I'm doing a little editing here if it's a little jumpy because I had to stop and take a few breaks, so to speak, take care of some things. And so I would just hit the pause button, or not pause button, but the map button. And yeah, it makes for a little choppy editing. I just want to remove those breaks out of there. Now, as I said, the raven revealed at the top of the tower where I had been, there is some treasure, and Ivor is going to climb up and get the treasure. And there you have it. Now there's some other stuff in the area that I was exploring around and swimming around and it took a long time. Again, they're getting really too, how shall I say, problematic with the hiding of things and the trying to figure things out. And that's why I'm really not too keen on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you liked this video, found it informative, hit the thumbs up button, yada, yada. Um, 
helps with the subscription. If you disagree, leave a comment. That's fine. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week related to video games. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you won't miss out. All this is going to help when I try and monetize my content. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.